Thank you. All right, we're here with Rafael Salles at the F1 booth at the AWSI trade show with the new 2025 gear. And probably the biggest trend in wing foiling this year is the mid-length boards. And you guys pioneered the downwind boards in one of the yes. best ones on the market and one of the best ones that we tested in the fall last year. And now you've got a new mid-length board here. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, we've been testing the sap downwind boards and some people said, okay, I'm going to try those boards in light wind and uh, winging and they realized that uh, getting on the plane was really easy. So the trick is that if you want to get on the plane, you need to go to get some speed while you are into the water. If you go like, let's say, four or five knots with board into the water, your pumping is really efficient because you are going forward and you create wind. So the whole trick is to go long and narrow so you have speed when you are into the water. And then the foil can take off only if you have speed. But the support, they were a little bit too long to fit into the car. And so, so we start to say, okay, let's go shorter, keep narrow. That's the trick, you need to be narrow. If you're around 18, 19, 20 inch, then you have that speed, you know, into the water. Yeah. And we end up with the mid lengths. So it's all about getting on the plane. The second important trick is that, well. is that the sap or the mid lengths, they have the mast a little bit forward, you know, so, in fact, you don't have too much length of the board in front of the mast. So, when you pump it or turn it, you don't feel you have a 6 euro board. That's important too. Because people will think, okay, it's long, but it's not really good for turning. But yes, they are. Wow, so a lot of the length has just been taken off the tail. Of these boards. Now you need the tail to keep some speed, you know, some length. Yeah, but definitely the amount of tail compared to like the downwind board here. The track is so much further flat. Yeah, longer the ball and more the track are moving forward. Okay. And what's the biggest size that the style of board is coming in? We go up to 6.6, six, I think. I yeah. don't remember what we changed for 25, the, the ratio. They get a little bit longer than last year. Yeah, so is there a size big enough for a beginner or is there still... Yeah, we go up to 130 liters, so... Yeah. So the beginners can get the advantage of the narrower board. Yeah. Big enough, I'm not sure, because it's a little bit unstable too, yeah. you know. You need so to know what you are doing a little bit. So someone who's done their first lessons maybe at a school, and they've tried it a little bit we, buying their first board or do you think mm, after a year? Depends the people. Some people need the wideness, you know, to yeah. be able to keep the balance. Yeah. So now we are using a smaller wing because you don't need that much power to move all those wide, bo wide board into the water. So it's a whole new process. You have a longer board, narrow, a smaller wing. Then everything is light on you and it's a different concept. Yeah, well you make the best 8 meter wing, so you've kind of killed that part of the market with your board. It, we need everything, you know, <laughs> because if even with the mid length, if you go in 7 or 8 knots, you yeah. need square meter. Especially yeah. if you're heavy, you know. Yeah. So it's not like killing everything, it's yeah. just offering different choice to everyone, yeah. according to your spot. Yeah, kind of like you said. Cool. Yeah. What was the, what was the, were there any big design evolutions when you were working on that board that you discovered? No, no, it's more like the balance between thickness, yeah. wideness and length. Yeah. Yeah. If you go too thick, it's unstable. Yeah. You know, so you need to, but we used to that since the SUPs, yeah. balance the wideness, thickness and length. Yeah. Well, want to take a quick look at the uh, yes, wings sure. with the Alula in the struts here? Yeah. So this is a new CWC? Yeah, this is the new CWC. Um, we wanted to have something like lighter, you know, so we start to experiment Alula. Uh, first I place Alula everywhere, leading edge, strut, and 
performance were not like much better and the weight on the scale was the same so I was a little bit disappointed and I, it was also really expensive to have Alula everywhere so with my designer we said okay let's check where we can place the minimum Alula and gain the maximum weight and performances so we start to put some only on the tips only on the strut mixed uh, everywhere and only the strut was really the best combination to get performances and lightness. Uh, you know, when you, you go into a jibe in light wind, it's maybe 12 knots of wind. You have to go down wind to do your jibe and you go 10 knots. So in fact, the apparent wind is only 2 knots. So it's really important that your wind stay flat and do not fall into your foot or beyond, uh, beyond the nose of the board. Uh, the swing weight like when you jive, was really, really good to save uh, weight on the strut, on the center strut. So the goal was to offer the best performances for the best price ratio. Uh, the new CVC, the pumping is really efficient. And when you are riding, you don't carry the, the wing. The wing is like waiting nothing and the pull is really forward so you have a feeling like if you have like two square meter less jibing riding you know tacking is like a normal five five square meter wing well that's really nice what else is new in the wings here um, the three of the model is uh, origin swing and strike and the choice is really easy the origin you will start planning and you will keep a really good control of your speed and more you go to the strike and more acceleration and performance you get the strike is the best to go up in go fast go high and do freestyle it's also a good wing for free flight for sure like always and the swing is more like about control you can go in strong wind, you can go over power, and you have a really good, really good control of your speed. And if you control your speed, you can go through the waves, through the white water, through the choppy condition. So it's more like wave riding, tough condition, free fly with the swing. Cool. Yeah, that looked really good. So you're one of the few brands that don't have windows in your wings. No, I didn't find the right material. Sometimes I try, it's like too soft and heavy or too stiff and it's hard to combine the canopy material and the stiffer material. Yeah. And most of the time as well, I never know where to place the window. Yeah. Because sometimes they are right, sometimes they are not, so it's not that, that easy. Yeah. yeah, in all my years of winging, I don't think I've looked through my windows more than mm. two or three times. No, it's not so easy. Yeah. Yeah, so these are definitely, in snow kiting, one of the big problems, or snow winging, ah. um, are those those windows get really brittle. Yeah. So not yeah. having any windows would make these great yes. if you wanted to take take out some They don't like, like the minus 10 or 20 yeah. degrees. No. no, they all look really good. 